There is increasing pressure inside banks and other home loan lenders to keep raising interest rates. Overseas funders have become nervous about Australia's housing market and are demanding higher rates for the perceived higher risk. If you have a home loan or an investment loan, brace yourself. Chances are shortly rates are going up again. There's a pricing uh, problem going on there. If you look at all of those sources of funding for the banks over the last year or so, all of those have gone up. The reason's complex but comes down to global jitters and worries about our housing markets. When I saw these comments a few weeks ago about problems with banks and bubbles and everything like that, and suddenly we're, we're getting phone calls from offshore uh, asking what the hell's going on. Kim Cannon runs FirstMac and Loans.com.au, one of the biggest non-bank lenders in Australia. Each year he sources around $3 billion of funds used for mortgages from overseas. They read the same articles we read. If overseas funders of Aussie mortgages are nervous, they demand higher rates. Big banks use the same sources for around $25 billion of home lending every year. International investors will either require an increased premium to, to fund or sort of stay on the sidelines if they're particularly concerned. The Reserve Bank today left open the prospect for further interest rate cuts if inflation stays low or international markets become volatile. But even if it did cut interest rates, and that's unlikely, what chance is there that the big banks and other lenders would fully pass on a rate cut? Most likely they want to keep most of it for themselves. This year, of 95 lenders in Australia, 44 have increased rates on investment loans. The average increase, 0.14%. Fewer have increased standard home loans. There's a lot of pressure on investment lending in particular, but also owner-occupied we've seen increases. The new caution is pushing lenders to ask for bigger deposits from home buyers and to cut down on interest-free loans. Plus a new trend, banks are tiering their loans so those with smaller deposits pay higher interest rates. The banks have to be careful and think about the quality of their book and are they going to be taking a, a hit down the track. Ross Greenwood, Nine News. One day out from the crucial Florida primary, Donald Trump looks set for a 